Oh my god! Criminal Minds Evolution Episode 5. Easily my favorite episode so far. We not wasting any time, let's get straight into this because we got a lot to talk about. The manhunt for Sicarius never takes a breath. This episode found the team looking into a murderer who bites his victim severely with what appeared to be dental implants. And this case actually surprisingly gets very personal for the Office Depot man himself, Deputy Director Bailey. Let's just cut to the chase, Doug. You weren't asked to oversee this case. You need us to do it. You had a personal connection to one of these women. It was Claire, wasn't it? Yes. Mr. Urim and I dated briefly. It was perfectly above board, but after a few months, we decided together that it wasn't working out. Bullshit. She broke your heart. <laughs> Y'all! Rossi ain't got no chill at all. Oh my God, y'all. Rossi, man. Ro Ross Rossi just keep pulling out the straight G card every time he on this show, man. Rossi ain't got no chill at all for this man. I said before I wanted to see more Rossi versus Bailey moments because it's always satisfying and this did not disappoint. The deputy director was in love with one of the victims, which puts him at the BAU's mercy. And I really like this because we, for the first time, got to see a different side of him that was more humble and more human, more humanity, and seemingly having a little more respect for these agents and what they do. Of course, things get complicated and political when the team figures out that the killer they're hunting is the son of a U.S. Senator. Bailey is then trapped between keeping up appearances and politics or putting a murderer behind bars. And actually, this led to some of the best back and forth this episode had. Probably the best back and forth out of this season so far. Prentice continually fired shots at Bailey. I mean, she talking like she Rossi, which is like at the end of the day, slow your roll, Emily, because this dude can fire you, but she didn't care. She was on his head. Get out of my face or I'll cut your balls off and feed them to you. Good luck. Benjamin, you've been a bad boy, haven't you? Who are you? Emily Prentice, FBI. In fact, Emily had way more to do in this episode than any other of the subsequent episodes, and I enjoyed it. She really took charge again, and she was not afraid to get on somebody's head. Unfortunately, when pressured by the Senator, Bailey failed to stick up for the victims, which allowed her son to be released. Now, obviously that was a bad choice because the woman's son is a murderer. But also because we find out he's got connections to none other than Sicarius himself. It's getting crazier and crazier with this dude. He's got inside help from the government now. No wonder he's been able to keep all this up for the last 15, 16 years. I don't know how I feel about the senator being killed, honestly. She was an evil, manipulating Karen who obviously didn't love her son. Still, I don't know if she deserved this. Who deserves to die like this? I am glad, however, the deputy director got to see what his actions cost. It's like, yeah, dude, you've been doing a lot of tough talking. You fired Rossi as unit chief. You're doing a lot of hard walking, but now you're the reason this woman is mutilated. Sir, any direction you'd care to give us? No. Like, yeah. Absolutely humbled. I like that because it was a complete transition from how we've seen in the past. It's like even this dude, even this dude is starting to get a little character arc. One thing I didn't like about this episode though, the thing I really didn't like about this episode was Garcia and Green. 
Every time they were on screen, it was silly to me. Before, their encounter felt real and personal and emotional. Now, it feels like by the end of this, they might just start dating. It just felt fake to me. Like, they're supposed to be tracking down, finding a lead on this huge mass murder that is Sicarius. And instead, they're bickering and picking at each other like fifth graders. Dude really got her a kitten? Like, I I excuse me, I I'm sorry, but can we can we get back to Criminal Minds, please? There's a, there's a mass murderer out there. Do, do y'all mind? It's time to deliver the profile. The unidentified subject is white and in his late 20s. He's someone you wouldn't notice at first. He's someone who blended into any crowd. The violent nature of the crime suggests a previous criminal record. Petty crimes, maybe auto theft. Man, I miss the old days. While Sicarius and Benjamin were doing their thing, Luke and JJ arrive in Georgia where they discovered a possible second container that was buried. But actually it was a bomb, and it looks like it exploded before they managed to escape. It's kind of funny how in the last episode, Will's life was seemingly in danger, and now of course they gotta make JJ's life seemingly in danger. I am glad he doesn't have cancer. I was not feeling that storyline at all. I'm so glad he doesn't have cancer. But with this episode, now we have to wait a whole month to find out what happens next. New episodes aren't gonna come back until January 12th. A whole f month. Like, this is absolute bull. I mean, y'all, this is complete and utter A month? A month. We have to wait a month for episode six. Man, that sucks. I'll be here, though. Uh, of course I'll be here for it. I'm still loving this show, but yeah, this episode, definitely my favorite so far. It's it's also going to be interesting to see if Bailey keeps his word and lays off the BAU, especially since this whole thing with Luke and JJ. Bailey might try to throw Prentice under the bus from that incident, but I guess we'll find out next month. Guys, this was my review of Criminal Minds Evolution Episode 5. <laughs> Definitely the best episode so far. Y'all really gotta watch this for yourselves if y'all haven't seen it. I loved the back and forth between Emily and Ben. I loved Emily in this episode. This might be one of Emily's best episodes throughout the entire Criminal Minds series. Her, she, she, she wasn't pulling out no stops with this. I, I really loved it. I guess my next review will be a month from now. So that sucks. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so you'll be notified next month. When I upload my review over episode 6. Thank you guys for watching, and as far as criminal minds go, I'll see you in a month. This is absolute.